Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. I am your Guru and in this video I will tell you how to make a dashboard in the shape of an iPhone battery in Excel which would showcase how much of your target has been achieved and what is remaining. See, 86% has been achieved and 14 is remaining. Let us see if once we change it how would it look. See, 22% is achieved and 78 is remaining. And you won't believe this is just a two minutes task to create. Let me tell you how we can do it. Let me first explain you the example. Uh, I have taken four values over here. Left edge achieved remaining right edge. Left edge right edge were nothing but these two sections. And the achieved section is a number which you can mention over here remaining would nothing be would be nothing but 100 minus this 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 is done using a formula so that the remaining section is calculated automatically so usually targets are given in hundreds or, or in percentile so achieved can be anything any number of your choice and remaining would be 100 minus this now let us start by creating it left edge right edge just fill in five that is just to give in the, give that width over there and achieved and remaining i have already told you just select this click on insert this is i'm using 2013 so people using 2013 you can just simply follow this and people use using 2007 you can i'll tell you how to do that in the same video so you guys have to choose, people using 2007 have to use the cone chart and the bar, ch the bar chart and the cone chart in that, the sub chart would be the cone chart. And for people in 2013, just follow the bar chart and choose the stack chart, 3D stack uh, chart version. As soon as you choose it, do a right click click on change chart type and choose this stacked version all right people using 2007 your chart would already be a cone as of now for us i'll change it right away 2013 how do you change it to a cone chart this is how we do it oh, sorry not a cone but a cylinder a cylinder chart just you click on any of this uh, any of the sections over here and select over here and you'll see a cylinder chart now what is remaining is the colors so let's start with the leftmost color it should be a gray color go to borders solid fill choose a dark gray color same for this edge solid fill the target should always be represented in achieve target should always be represented in green that is how the saying goes so let's have that and the remaining part most important most tricky i'll tell you how why it is most important because that is what brings life to this chart all right just select the remaining part and go to solid fill choose the color black and then set the transparency to 70 percent all right and now one more thing remains to be done is changing the orientation right click over here on in the achieve section Go to 3D rotation. You'll find this section XY rotation. The X rotation should be set as 0 and Y rotation keep it as 2. Here you are. Your chart is almost ready. All you need to do is just remove these formattings. Click on these lines. Delete them. Click on any of these numbers. Delete that. Click on any of this. Delete it. You can fill the chart with a solid fill, say black, 
Oh. We need to fill the complete chart. Here we go. Let's have it. Black. Oh, we need to give, we forgot to give the border. Click on any of this and any uh, to each one of these values. E each section, let's start with the left edge section. Go to border fill and fill it with a solid gray color. Yes, here it is. Same goes here. Solid line. Same goes here. Solid line. Same goes for this one. A solid line. And our chart is ready. We can test it. See, it is always good to put in numbers over here to reflect the data. So to show in numbers, click the chart, go to format, sorry, go to design and choose a quick layout. It's similar in 2007 also. Choose this layout, delete this, delete this one, delete this five, select it and delete it. And select this 14 over here, go to text options. In seven also you do something similar, you right click it and change the fill color to red because the remaining portion should be shown in red color. And here we are. See? <laughs> well, you you can you can uh, down, practice this along by simply downloading this file from myelesson.org. It's totally free. Just go to myelesson.org, find this video over there, and click there and click on the download button to download the file, and then you can practice along. So until the next video, this is your guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning. <laughs>